Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install Minecraft launcher on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to select the right region. For this, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now click on time and language, language and region. And select the right country from here. And then you can go ahead and try to install the launcher. Now the next step is to log out and log in from Microsoft Store. So on the top right here, you can see a profile icon. Click on it. Click on sign out sign in select your right account then click on continue enter your pin or password over here and once you're logged in you can go ahead and try to install the launcher also make sure date time time and time zone is correct on your computer so on the bottom right here you can see the date and time make a right click and then click on adjust date and time make sure set time automatically is on over here in windows 10 you will find set time zone automatically so make sure that is also on and in Windows 11, you can go ahead and select the right time zone from here and then go ahead and click on sync now. And in case if you want to make changes in date and time, if that is not correct, then click on additional clock. You will find this option on Windows 10 on the right hand side. Now click on date and time. Now click on change date and time. You can go ahead and select the right month and year from here. Select the right date and set the right time and then click on OK. OK and then click on sync now. Now, the next step is to use library to install the launcher. For this, go to Microsoft Store and then click on libraries. And then you have to go ahead and find the launcher in the list. So here, if you find your Minecraft launcher, over here, you will see the install option. In my case, it's already installed. If you see the install option, try to install the launcher from library. Now the next step is to turn off metered connection for this go to the start menu then click on settings then click on network and internet over here and then select your wi-fi network so click on your wi-fi network and if metered connection is on over here you have to go ahead and turn this off so make sure metered connection is off over here and then try to install the launcher now the next step is to run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. So go ahead and type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command from tab, then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Copy the command one by one and paste it over here. And then hit the enter key. Now, once done, you can go ahead and restart your computer. So after the system restart, you can go ahead and open Microsoft Store and then try to install the launcher. Now, the next step is to run this command in PowerShell. So you, you can go ahead and copy all these commands. All these commands are provided in the video description. So copy it till the end. OK, so till here and till over here, you have to go ahead and select till this comma. So in this bracket you have to go ahead and select it make a right click then copy this and then type in powershell in the windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now over here on the top here on the white bar over here you can go ahead and make a right click and then click on edit and then click on paste over here and now hit the enter key and let the process complete. Now, when this process is running, you might uh, see a lot of uh, error message in red color. Just ignore it and let the process complete. Now, once done, you can go ahead and close this window. Now you can go ahead and open Microsoft Store and then try to install the launcher. Now, the next step is to get updates on um, get updates on Microsoft Store. So open Microsoft Store. Now, if you have Windows 10 on the top right, uh, you will see three dots. Click on the three dots and then click on get download and updates. Now, once you click on download and updates, you will see get updates op option over here. So click on get updates. Now, in case if you have Windows 11, in that case, on the bottom left here, you can see this icon. Click on it. And once you click on it, then you will see get updates option. So click on get updates 
and once all the updates are installed now you can go ahead and try to install the launcher now the next step is to run windows store troubleshooter for this go to the start menu then click on settings now if you have windows 10 you have to click on update and security on your windows settings so click on update and security in case if you have windows 11 then click on system and then click on troubleshoot other troubleshooter now over here you can see windows store apps in windows 10 simply click on it then click on run the troubleshooter in windows 11 you can click on this run option and once the troubleshoot is complete restart your computer and then try to install the launcher now the next step is to run ws reset command so go ahead and type in ws reset in windows search box and click on ws reset now here you can see this black screen do not close this black screen this black screen will go away and it will open microsoft store so this may take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute now over here you can see the black screen is gone and it's opening microsoft store now you can go ahead and search the launcher and then try to install the launcher now the next step is to reset store app for this go to the start menu then click on settings click on apps apps and features and in the search box you can go ahead and type in store over here and then click on microsoft store and then you will see advanced option in windows 10 and in windows 11 click on this three dot advanced options scroll down here you can see the reset option reset reset and once the reset is complete over here you can go ahead and open microsoft store and then try to install the launcher now the next step is to reset windows update components for this go ahead and copy all these commands these commands are provided in the video description so copy it till here and then make a right click copy it and then open notepad over here so just type in notepad and then in the notepad you can go ahead and paste all these commands and then click on file save as now go ahead and name it as wufix.bat and then just name it paste it over here and then for save as type select all files and then click on save i will save it to the desktop save and then close this notepad now go to desktop here you can see w u fix make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now first of all it will go ahead and stop all the services windows update services and then it will go ahead and restart all the windows update services now over here if, if it prompts you to do you want to continue this operation so you can go ahead and press y for yes hit the enter key So let the process complete and now here you can see it's starting all the services now and once uh, the uh, process is complete it will go ahead and close itself now you can go ahead and open microsoft store and then try to install the launcher now the next step is to restart microsoft store install service for this go ahead and type in services in windows search box and then click on services and then find microsoft store install service here you can see it make a double click make sure startup type is set to automatic then click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now with this selected click on restart the service and now find windows update in the list here you can see windows update make a double click select automatic click on apply if start is highlighted click on start then click on ok with this selected click on restart the service and then you can go ahead and open microsoft store and then try to install the launcher now the next step is to delete windows store local cache file for this go to this location so open file explorer then open this c drive then open your users folder and then open your username folder then open app data now in case if you don't see app data click on view in windows 10 you will find the view somewhere on the top over here click on view then you have to go ahead and put a check on the box which says hidden items in windows 11 click on views select show and then put a check on hidden items and then open app data local folder then open the packages folder and scroll down and you have to go ahead and find microsoft windows store here you can see microsoft windows store underscore and here you can see all these alphanumeric character so go ahead and open this folder and make a right click on local cache file 
uh, make a right click on this folder and then click on delete and once it is deleted you can go ahead and open microsoft store and then try to install the game now the next step is to run powershell command so go ahead and copy this command type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key and again let the process complete and now again this process will take some time and during this process you might see some errors in red colors so just go ahead and ignore those errors and then let the process complete now once done you can go ahead and close this window and then open microsoft store and then try to install the launcher now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall microsoft store so copy this command type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key and once this is done it will go ahead and uninstall microsoft store so you won't find store anymore over here now you can go ahead and close this restart your computer and after the system restart copy this command type in powershell once again in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell run as administrator click on yes to allow paste the second command over here hit the enter key this will go ahead and reinstall microsoft store now you can go ahead and open microsoft store and you should be able to install the launcher now the next step is to run inet cpl.cpl command so go ahead and type in inet cpl.cpl in search and then click on inet cpl.cpl go to the advanced tab scroll down here you can see use tls 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 make sure all four are checked then click on apply ok and then open microsoft store now the next step is to use xbox app so in case if you are unable to install the launcher from store you can go ahead and use xbox app so you can go ahead and copy this link open this link in a browser it will take you to the xbox website over here and you can go ahead and download the app from here so click on download the app and this will go ahead and install this download this exe file run this exe file and then install xbox app and then you can go ahead and try to install the game from xbox app so i already have it so you can go ahead and search for uh, minecraft launcher in the search box and then try to install the game from xbox app now make sure that you're logged in with same account on microsoft store and with the same account on xbox app so when you launch xbox app it will be asking you to log in so you can go ahead and enter your same microsoft account which you are using to log in to microsoft stores so make sure both the account are same now the next step is to make sure gaming service and xbox identity provider is installed so when you are using xbox app make sure these two services are installed so for xbox identity provider copy this link and then open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website and you can go ahead and click on get and then it will prompt you to open microsoft store so open microsoft store and then you will see the install option to install xbox identity provider in my case it's already installed so i don't see the install option in your case you will find the get option or install option install it also make sure gaming services is installed for this first of all we will go, we will go ahead and uninstall any remains of gaming services for this we will, you can go ahead and type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key and once this is done you can go ahead and copy this command and then paste it on the powershell window on the same window and then hit the enter key it will open microsoft store now you can go ahead and click on install click on yes to allow and once the download is complete you can go ahead and open xbox app or microsoft store and then try to install the launcher you can open xbox app and then try to install the game from here so in the search box you can go ahead and type in minecraft launcher and then you can go ahead and try to install it from here now now the next step is to update windows 10 using media creation tool or you can update your windows 11 using media creation tool so if nothing is working you can go ahead and try this step and if nothing is working this should definitely help so you can go ahead and copy this link if you have windows 10 and then here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and once the download is complete run this exe file then you will see this screen click on accept and by default upgrade this pc now would be selected then click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest 
update. Now this process will take some time. Once the download is complete, now before the installation, you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. Now when this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So you can go ahead and click on install and then after the installation, log into your computer and then you can go ahead and open Xbox app or Microsoft Store and then try to install the game. Now, in case if you have Windows 11, in that case, you can go ahead and copy this link and then open this link in a browser. And over here, you can see Media Creation 2. So again, click on Download now and then run this exe file. Now click on Accept and then Windows 11 would be selected. Click on Next and then select ISO file and then click on Next. Select the location as desktop. And, and then you can go ahead and click on save. Now, once the download is complete, you can go ahead and click on finish and then this will close this and then you can go to desktop and then open this ISO file. So make a double click on Windows ISO file and then make a double click on setup file and then click on yes to allow and this will load Windows 11 now. And then you can go ahead and click on install Windows 11, click on next and it will go ahead and check for update. Now this process will also take time. Now again, before the installation, you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. Now when this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So you can go ahead and click on install. After the installation, you can go ahead and launch. You can log into your computer, launch Xbox app and then try to install Minecraft launcher. So one of the steps should definitely help you to get the launcher working. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my